Oh, what is going on, guys? And it's Mask Man here, and welcome back to the weekly road trip, episode two. In this one, we're gonna have some fun. Except I forgot to do something. Hang on. <laughs> Problem fixed. All right, I'm back. I had some setting up to do that I didn't do, but I did do now. Okay, need to turn on my lights. Now then, this video is gonna be extremely dark because we are driving at night because at the end of the last episode I decided to rest to make my guy all happy. And it turns out to be 2 a.m. now. So there's that going for us, which is nice. Let me straighten out my camera a little bit. All right, so this is week two. Firstly, let's go over what I've released so far this week. This week was Indie Game Week. Yes, Indie Games. I really want to do a, a week like this where I didn't do a Let's Play and did just various ones because I wanted to get back into my love of gaming, especially indie games. Played some horror games, played some regular games, Critical Mass, a Thief, very organized Thief. Yes, it's good times. Oh, need to go to the right. All right. And it's just like, when I played Brothers, I realized that I really want to get back into indie games because it shows what indie ga what games are all about. I almost said indie games again. It's just what games are about. What brought me into gaming in the first place and it's just a really good experience while I used to be a competitive multiplayer gamer back in my Halo 3 days I really liked single-player games just experiencing a game's story I really like that and so getting into some of these games like Brothers which is an amazing game when it comes to story helped me remember why I picked games to let's play it's just Amazing experiences that are fun and worthwhile. That's why I got into it. And so I had a really good week this week with all that stuff. And things and stuff. And I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Alright. <laughs> so, it's really dark. Except for these lights. They help me a little bit so that I can see on the road. But they'll be gone soon, probably. And I gotta go left up here, so I'm gonna move in the left lane. Alright. Yes, I actually do follow the lane rules in this one, so that's nice. Need to slow down a bit, though. All right, got go to the left a little bit. Gonna get set up and turn. Bingo, bango, and now I'm in the dark again. God damn it! So, because I am semi pre-recording this ahead of time, I don't have any questions. If you guys have left questions for me, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will be sure to save them for future videos. But for now, to give you an idea of question time. I decided to pull questions from, I don't know if any of you may know, Dan from NerdCubed, official NerdCubed. He did a thing a while ago. It was the TMI vlog with him or Blackery. And I decided to take some of those TMI questions and answer those for you today on our long journey. I hope there's a rest stop on this route. Or else I don't know where I'm gonna park. That'll be a question to ask, answer when it becomes a point. But for now, let's keep going. So, to my left, which I had the preset up earlier, which I'll have to fix in post, I left me some questions from the vlog. Question number one. How old are you? I am 21. Basic answer for a basic question. These first few are going to be pretty damn basic. Because I'm pretty basic. Alright. Question two. How tall are you? I am 5'11". So I'd consider myself an average height man for my build. All right, what are you wearing? I have on a red shirt that's from Walmart. It's an MMA Elite shirt. And then I have jeans, no socks, no underwear. I'm just kidding, I do have underwear. Or do I? The world may never know. All right, moving on. Number four, things are gonna start to get weird. I don't know why I put this one in the middle of the questions but anyways what is your OTP for those of you that don't know I didn't know this for the longest time my girlfriend told me OTP is your one true pair it's a fan fiction thing you know kind of like PewDiePie and Cry or Aaron and Danny Sexbang from Game Grumps or uh, Michael and Gavin from Achievement Hunter or uh some other fan fiction thing I can't think of. Oh, I thought of one really disturbing. Clem and Luke, also known as Kluke. 
the most disturbing thing on the internet. Do not look it up. If you do, I will punch you in the throat personally. If you are a Kluke fan, I am so sorry. I don't know if I want you on my channel. <laughs> it is disturbing. Clem's 12 and Luke's 27, we learned. That's not cool at all. You people are disturbed. You need help. Okay. What is my OTP that I would go to? But why did I instantly go to all the guy to guy OTPs? Because, well, that's all I hear about from a girlfriend. So, let me think of an OTP that isn't like that. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't really have an OTP, so I'm trying to think now. Um, hmm. What about thinking and driving? All right. OTP. I've got it. I've got it. It's a nerdy one. It's going to be Tex and Church from Red vs. Blue. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I don't have an OTP. I'm not into all that fan fiction stuff, so I don't have an OTP. Unless there's someone. I don't know. Fuck it. Moving on to the next question. Five. I didn't have to say number five of what the question number is. Favorite bands? It depends. I'll be honest. I'm a metalcore kind of guy. Even though I like to play a lot of, uh, a lot of electronic music on this channel I'm a metalcore kind of guy you know I'm, I'm like bull for my valentine crown the empire uh I like Avenged Sevenfold a bit you know I like to mix things up a little bit it doesn't always have to be metalcore I listen to just about anything it can be anything and I listen to it the metalcore that's my go-to man it's my go-to genre of mice and men the old woe was me before they went shitty some asking Alexandria oh fuck Almost at that truck. That kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. That's some good questions. Number six. How much do you weigh? Not enough. I'll be honest. I think I weigh around 135. Maybe 130. I'm a skinny motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Alright, number seven. Quality you look for in a partner. What do I look for? Cute. Funny personality. I'm. I'm. Fuck. Where was the camera at? Fuck you. I. Uh, this game. I've already gotten two speeding tickets so far. Two speeding tickets. Yep. God damn it. So yeah. I don't know. That's my girlfriend. What I'm into. I. I don't even know what I'm into. I don't. I'm. I'm too busy driving to think. You know what? I just thought about something. Why didn't I put on a cruise control? I have my controller set up to do that. Instead of holding this down, I can just put myself in cruise control and I can focus more on the questions that are on the screen to my left because I have double screen set up like a boss. All right, let's just keep going. All right, question number eight. Favorite quote. Favorite quote. I used to have a good one, but I can't think of it offhand. Favorite quote. Let me go for funny with this one. If you're not out of control, you're not in control. Yeah, that one. That's Fast and Furious for you. Got me some Vin Diesel going on. Yay, yay. All right. I'm doing terribly at these questions, but fuck it. You're learning about me because it's TMI. All right. Oh, shit. Need to go right. Okay. Too busy looking off to the screen now. Almost drove off the road. Found a problem with the questions now. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Question number nine is my favorite actor. My favorite actor. That depends on the kind of movie when it comes to it. I guess you can say. When it comes to action, it'd probably be Jason Statham. When it comes to drama? Huh. Who is my favorite dramatic actor? That's a good question. I don't thought I like that. When it's comedy, Robin Williams is... Rest in peace, Robin Williams. He was a big part of my childhood. I don't feel like going on that feels trip, though. So, Robin Williams is probably the best comedy person in the history of mankind. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, <laughs> Now I'm in feels mode. Alright. Those are my favorite actors. I can't think of a dramatic actor at the moment. Because I haven't watched a dramatic movie in a long time. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Uh, I'll pick something default, like, uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Samuel Jackson. 
Samuel Jackson. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. And then it's, uh, what does Marcellus Wallace look like? Does he look like a bitch? Then why you try and fuck him like one? <laughs> Alright, I'm fucking... Oh, Lord. At least I'm having fun. Well, oh, stay in your lane. Alright, next question. Ten, have you ever been in a physical fight? This can go various ways. I've been in various fights with my brother that were physical. We used to watch wrestling all the time, and we would wrestle in the living room. Uh, we had some fun times. You know, we'd test out submission moves on each other. Ankle lock, really hurts. Walls of Jericho, really fucking hurts. Um, we also, because we're idiotic like this, we would decide to have one be on the couch and one on the floor, and we would do some top rope moves like the frog splash on my behalf, which resulted in some very painful knees and elbows because we're fucking idiotic. And then <laughs> there were two times where we almost killed me because I'm the smaller one on the behalf because my brother was older than me at 25, almost 26 years old in November. My brother decided one day he was going to suplex me onto the bed, but instead of doing me the full 360 or full 180, he would have me 90 degrees to where my neck fell onto the bed first with the rest of my body falling on top of me which hurt really badly, and then there was one time long ago <laughs> where he decided to try and powerbomb me onto my bed, and we broke the bed in half. Because we are fucking idiotic kids, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, same around for we, we've had some good old fights. There's some times when I didn't want to wrestle, so when he forced me to- Fuck! Speeding ticket! God damn it. Fuck. You. Game. I'm losing money quick. Damn. Well, I need to be very careful because I am losing time. I'm going to pause the game really quick in the game. So look at my delivery is due on Friday at the latest at 12 a.m. So in the very morning on Friday. So I need to catch up on a lot because this trip is going to require me to sleep about two or three more times. Oh, this is going to be a rough trip. Especially with all that hassle I did with trying to park, and then gas. Oh, that's gonna suck. Anyways, what was I going? So there are various times where I didn't want to fight. Oh, you stopped for me. Thank you very much. I don't know why you stopped for me, but you did. Oh, God. How the fuck was I supposed to make that turn? Can someone tell me that? Can someone tell me that? Hang on, I'm gonna back up a little. You fuck. Oh my god. And chaos has ensued. I need you out of the way, please. I'm gonna go as far to the right as I can to get this fucking trailer around it. Thank you! Is my truck okay, or is... My truck has one damage. The cargo's okay. But you figured it would be the opposite first. God damn it. As I was saying... There are various times where I didn't want to fight, but he wanted to, or he didn't want to wrestle me, he wanted to, so I'd legitimately fight him, punch him in the face, go for his legs, try and fucking kill him if I could. I was that kind of guy. There's that, but physical fight outside of that, uh, in the school I was thrown against the wall once and laughing at him because it was daring him to do something, but he didn't, so he put me down. So there was that. That was fun. He was a kid I didn't like, he was a bigger kid, mean kid, bully kind of kid. We were, we were in the lunch line, he was behind me. And he wanted to try and cut in front of me, and I said, fuck you. And so he threw me against the wall quickly, lifted me up off the ground. He said, what did you just say? And I said, I said, fuck you. And I was like, what you gonna do? And then he put me down and didn't do anything. Because I'm a badass little kid with a mouth that could have gotten me killed that day. But I tested the waters, and I won. I don't know how, though. Alright, this episode's getting quite long. But I've only got two more questions before I have to go to a rest stop. So we'll do this. Question, next question, not gonna read the numbers, is do you have any fears? Why, yes I do. Here's a list of fears that come off a of hand. Number one, it's an interesting one, darkness. Now it's not the fear of like a child, oh no, I need not dark. It's the fear of 
no, I'll go to the next rest stop. It's the fear of absolute darkness and the fact of not being able to see your surroundings and the fact that there could be someone trying to kill you right behind you or right in front of you, for that matter. But you can't tell because you don't have that sense of safety. There could be a guy five feet in front of you with a gun, but in absolute darkness, you can't see that. So darkness makes me uncomfortable, and since there's literally a fear of mine, I guess you can say. Uh, next one would be needles. I don't like needles. If you bring a needle towards me, I will fucking end you for all of time. Yep, pretty much that. Uh, anything else I can think of offhand? Not really. Can't think of it. Oh, stop! This guy's hitting the brakes. So I can't really think of anything else offhand of that. No, I think those are the only two that I can really think of offhand. Those are my big fears. Anything else is just a small uncomfort. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And now, the big question. I saved this one for last. Even though I've answered it many times. So I'm going to say it again. The reason I joined YouTube. I mentioned it a couple times before. Great, I'm going to have a long ass trek in front of me when it comes to answering this question now. This, this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> Alright, the reason I joined YouTube. A long time ago, I was in a sort of depressive state. You people need to go. And when I had to merge into a fucking highway, interstate, whatever you want to call it. Okay, Britons, learn how to drive. Britons, this isn't Britain. I'm still in the other part of Europe. Jesus. Alright. So... I was in a depressive point in my life with a lot of personal things going on. And so my solace was YouTube. You know, a while ago I used to do sketch videos. Years ago, sketch on videos. I used to make one a week. I did like five or six, and my friends liked them. And it was a good time, but I didn't make any more. And then I eventually deleted all of those for some reason, even though they were actually pretty good, but I always feel like I could have done better on them. And so I planned to remake those because I still remember what they were. I planned to like do them again. Probably should have pulled off to the right here, but you know what? I'll go for the next rest stop. So I used to make videos, and it was fun. But I never really got too into it. And then I found Let's Playing. I was always a gamer. I was constantly on my Xbox every single day as a high schooler. Talking to my friends on there, shooting the shit, playing Grand Theft Auto 4 online, playing Halo, playing Guitar Hero, playing Trials, all that kind of stuff. So I found Let's Playing. Through people like uh, C Nanners and All Sham No Wow and uh, Red Supre. They were some big guys back in my past. Even though they were the original ones, it turns out. They essentially started Let's Playing. So if you don't know them, you need to know them. There's some good guys over there. So uh, I decided eventually to try my hand slowly I used to make uh, videos every once in a blue moon on my old channel, Mass Man's World, that are pff, long gone. Deleted into the abyss of YouTube. I used to make Minecraft videos, used to make videos of LSD Dream Emulator. All kinds of weird shit that I used to do over there. But eventually I decided that, you know what? I'm having fun with this, I want to do something with this. I want to give back to YouTube the happiness they gave back to me. So I said, I'm gonna start a Let's Play channel. All these people need to stop moving, oh fuck. I'm gonna hit someone, I'm gonna hit someone. I am on the shoulder of the road. Beep, beep, motherfucker, I'm a truck. Get out the way. Okay. Whoa, dude. Thank you for just flinging into the lane. All right. So anyways, I decided I was going to give back. I was going to have some fun by starting a YouTube channel. And you know what? It's been damn fun these past two years. It really has. And I want to thank all you guys that are here by my side for my support, watching all my stuff, leaving comments every once in a while. It means a lot to me. Just thought you guys should know that. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. So, why I got into YouTube? I wanted to entertain the rest of you guys. And give you happiness if I can. If you're having a bad day and you've turned on one of my videos and it made you better, then you know what? I've done my job. I have. And that's the last question, so now I need to find a rest stop or just pull off to the side of the road. And it may be me pulling off to the side of the road here soon. Because I don't see a rest stop for a while. It's quite a bit down the road. 
God damn it. Whoa, that's super zoomed in. And I've already made this video 20 minutes, so you know what? I'm gonna pull off to the side of the road here. Because this is legal. And I'm gonna end the video here. Wow, this is a way to do this video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. But I'll see you guys next time. But until then, this has been Mask Man. Logging off.